Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing my April favorites where I talk about my favorite beauty products for the month of April. If you are interested in hearing what makeup products I have been enjoying and using and highly recommend to you guys, then just keep watching. I'm going to start off doing my channel of the month first because I've forgotten to do it the last two months because I always save it for last and then by that point I end up forgetting. So from now on we're doing channel of the month first. So the channel that I have been obsessed with this month is Karen Harris. She just hit 5,000 subscribers so congratulations Karen. You definitely deserve way more. I can't wait to see you grow. First of all, I just think Karen is a genuinely kind and sweet person and you'll see like her kindness radiates through her videos. She supports me as well and she's just so sweet. She does a lot of unique videos and I found her because you guys know I've been trying to get more into indie brands and giving them some love and Karen does a lot with indie brands. She does a lot with a lot of different brands but she loves eyeshadow and eyeshadow palettes and doing crazy looks and she loves eyeshadows as much as me and she loves to experiment with crazy colors and looks. That's really where I connect with her. She does a lot of unique videos as well. She has a lot of tan girl friendly videos as well because she does have a tan skin tone. I love watching her videos just to hear her input on how products work for her skin tone because I do like to watch channels of different skin tones to see how products work for them so I can report back to my own subscribers. So definitely if you have a deeper skin tone, go look towards her channel as well. She's so well spoken, she is so educated, and most importantly she is just a kind person so I've been enjoying her videos a lot this month she's very dedicated to her channel and she has definitely been making my quarantine much better so make sure you guys go subscribe to Karen tell her that I sent you obviously April was unlike any other month ever yeah I like didn't leave the house except to go to the grocery store once but I've been wearing more makeup than I've ever worn in my entire life I have been trying so many new products and I feel like I almost struggled a little bit to pick out what my favorites were for this month because I like to pick out products that really do stand out to me it's just I wore so much makeup I couldn't even really pinpoint what I'd been repeatedly using especially since it was like a lot of new makeup but Ultimately, when I sat down, I did pick out some favorites that I did notice I was picking out mindlessly more than I was other products, but I think only one product so far from my Sephora hauls have made it in this month's video. But for the most part, most of this is stuff that has been sitting in my collection for a while, and that's one of the few things that is really great about this time, is that I am able to dip into my collection more, which, speaking of, by the way, I never thought I would be saying this, but I am officially on a low buy. Not a no buy, because I don't think my channel would survive. I don't think I would survive. But I made a big purchase. <laughs> I purchased a Peloton bike. So I'm really excited about it, but I was like, all right, I got to cut down on this spending. So from now on for the next few months, maybe, I don't know, <laughs> but for a while, I'm only going to be purchasing products that are going to get like a full dedicated review on. So if it's a product that I just want to try in like a get ready with me, I'm not going to purchase it. If it's not worthy of having its own individual review, then it's not worthy of me purchasing. So that's kind of how I'm going about my low buy. I've never done a low buy before, so we will see how <laughs> it goes. But obviously, I think this is the perfect time to try that out. And even though it hurt me, a Peloton bike is good for my health so that's a little bit more important than buying more makeup when i am surrounded by makeup products so basically for the next few weeks look forward to videos that are showcasing products that are already in my collection that I did not board purchase as I have been doing the last six weeks. <laughs> so we're gonna start off with the foundation that I've been loving. This has been in my collection for a while. I know so many of you have it. Inspiration started off for this product because I filmed a makeup products you already have tutorial and I put out my L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation and you guys, this foundation is so good. It beats out so many of my high-end and luxury foundations. This makes my skin look so fresh and so smooth and just so supple and soft and moisturized. I love this foundation. I don't know how a drugstore foundation could achieve something so great, but it really is definitely a favorite foundation of mine, especially in the drugstore. I feel like you can't go wrong with this. So I have mine in the shade, I don't know the name, but it just says 430. So I have mine in the shade 430 and... Uh, 
I love this foundation. It really, as the day goes on, your skin just looks more and more supple and soft. It smooths out your skin. I have a lot of texture and like bumps on my skin. This really smooths it out. I have dry skin and this really makes my skin look very moisturized. I would say it has a medium coverage with a natural finish. It feels very lightweight on the skin, but it covers just enough. So everything about this foundation, I love. And I knew I liked this foundation, but I have so many foundations that I try and cycle through that I didn't really give this its own moment and it definitely had its moment this month where I've been able to wear it repeatedly day after day with other products. It's so good. I cannot put this down. It is an amazing drugstore foundation. I do have an eyebrow product that I want to talk about and I knew I liked this product but for the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty this was 50% off. So this is the Urban Decay Brow Blade and I had this in Brunette Betty and I knew I liked the product itself but Brunette Betty was much too warm for me I didn't like how red it was so for the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty since it was half off I picked up Neutral Nana because I like more of a neutral color in my brow and I can't stop putting this down so the catch with this is one side it's just a pencil and the pencil is really nice I wouldn't say I like it more than like my Benefit or my ABH I feel like this does deposit a little bit too much color at once like I would like something a little bit more dry I just feel like I have more control with that but it's not anything bad enough that I wouldn't use it again it's just not my favorite pencil formula but it still gets the job done so I'll start off with that and I'll fill in my brows and then kind of what makes this product really unique is the ink stay inside so it's just like a marker and I really feel like after I fill it in with the pencil if I just go through and draw lines throughout my eyebrow this is what really gives it kind of that almost microbladed kind of look and when you really take a step back and you see those lines that you created it does look very natural but it also just looks very laminated almost and if you like fluffy brows this is a great way to achieve that I personally don't do too much with fluffy brows I just want my brows to look nice and clean but this has been a really great brow product that I've been consistently using this month so some powder face products that I've been loving first off is this is the only item that's made it from the Sephora VIB haul so far this is the Kosas bronzer oh my gosh it's so good it's a baked bronzer and there's a lot of hype around this bronzer and for good reason because it is incredible. It's one of my new favorite bronzers ever. So I have mine in the shade light. They did restock on this so I would definitely recommend if you're able to pick it up to pick it up because it sold out really fast but it is so good you guys. I have mine in the shade light. It has a natural sheen to it but it's just overall like a really natural bronzer that I feel very comfortable putting onto my skin for every day. It's not too dark. I don't have to use a light hand but it still builds up if you want and it just adds the perfect amount of color and shade to your skin to where you don't look dead, you look like you have some color to your face. It adds a little bit of definition, but it also adds a nice, very natural sheen as well. It just applies very beautifully. I don't have anything bad to say about this bronzer. I'm just gonna finish off by saying it's one of my favorites, and I'm so happy that I randomly picked this up for the sale. This wasn't really super hyped up when I purchased it, but I feel like over the last week or so, everybody's been like, wow, this bronzer is really good. And I also picked up like the concealer from Kosas and a cream blush duo and everything I've tried from Kosas so far, I really, really am loving. So this brand itself, I feel like I need to explore into more because I'm really enjoying their products. I can't because I'm on a low buy though but I really want to because their stuff is so good. And then I also do want to mention a brush that I've been loving this month. What I've been doing is I have two cups on my makeup desk and I've kind of been shuffling in and out different brushes to make sure all of my brushes get use and so that I don't end up having 500 brushes to wash. If I keep the amount as small as possible, I'll do a quick wash run of just a few of them and then I'll swap out for other brushes. So that's been a way for me to keep it organized. And a lot of you have noticed that I've been using this brush. I've gotten a lot of questions about it. So this is what I use to apply the bronzer, but you can use it for blush and everything like that too. But I personally like this for bronzer. This is the Sonia G Face Pro Brush. She recently restocked all of her brushes. I'm not sure if this one is still available, but it's one of my favorites from her. She has really beautiful face brushes. And this is just the perfect size for bronzer. And I love the angle for when you're cutting the cheek down here. Just the perfect size to pat it down. It's a really great, soft, durable brush. And I mean, these are quite pricey, but these are gonna last you a lifetime. They feel very, very sturdy. They're extremely soft. Like these are top grade, top of the line brushes. So the Sonia G Face Pro lately has been my favorite 
bronzer brush. The next item that I want to talk about is a face palette that I actually purchased. It was on sale when I purchased it from Physicians Formula's website, so I got it for like $15, and this is an amazing deal. So this is a Physicians Formula Butter Collection collaboration with Whaley. I watched Whaley way back when I was in middle school. I don't really watch her anymore, but I thought she curated a beautiful collection with Physicians Formula, and the fact that I got this for $15 is incredible because like one of these butter bronzers alone if you buy it individually is $15 and get all of these beautiful colors. I did buy the Casey Holmes collaboration a while back when that came out and I did like it but I really just feel like these colors are more geared towards my skin tone or just my taste. They're much more soft and neutral. So today I only used a blush from here but obviously I'll use this all over my face. I actually have an IGTV where I use this, the bronzer, blush, and highlight and I love the colors that she's curating. So you get two bronzers here. So you have the deep bronzer and the sunset bronzer, which interestingly enough, the deep bronzer really isn't that deep. I think both of these work great for my skin tone. You have two very subtle blushes. I love the colors that she chose for the blushes. I feel like they are so wearable and so many of you guys will like these colors as well. Today I used Wildflower, which is this muted pink color on my cheek. Not all of my makeup products kind of go together perfectly today. Like I wouldn't necessarily pair this blush with this look but I wanted to demo the products for you so I really have been enjoying the blush formulas and then you have two highlight formulas these are the things that I'm not crazy about I think the highlighters are pretty but I would just use another highlighter personally I have highlighters that I like more but these four in particular even are like worth the money that I spent but still the highlighters are really nice I just think they're too squishy for me and that kind of moves my foundation around a little bit but they're pretty colors but overall Whaley did an amazing job with this palette and and I was late to pick it up but I'm happy that I was bored and purchased this one day because it really is a lovely palette and I like the packaging of this better than the Casey Holmes as well because it's just more space efficient it's smaller and everything that you need fills up the entire palette so this is a really lovely affordable palette and it's definitely worth way more than you actually spend so I highly recommend this if you're interested in it another brush that I want to speak about because I did use it in my demo to apply the blush this is the Sonia G soft cheek brush this is from her sky face collection this is one of my favorite blush brushes the thing that stands out about this is it's not like a really dense brush which is why it's called a soft cheek because the bristles are longer but it's not super densely packed in there and this picks up the perfect amount of blush color for you to easily just softly place it on your cheek. If you're heavy handed or you're very fair and you're scared of blushes looking too heavy on you, I highly recommend this brush. I think it might have sold out. I hope not. But it is the perfect blush brush, honestly. I just, you have so much control with it and you can't go too heavy handed with your blush when you use this brush. Highlight. I have a drugstore highlighter that has just been amazing. And this is the Milani Highlighter Duo. I have mine in the shade Power Up. So I wouldn't mind buying another color in here. This one is just a little bit more gold. And this really is a beaming highlight that does not emphasize the texture on your skin. So that is what I'm wearing today. And as you can see, it really is a metallic finish and it's so smoothing, especially with the combo of the L'Oreal foundation. My face looks glowy, but really smooth. And I just think this highlighter does a fantastic job. You have one side, which isn't as metallic. So if you don't like a super metallic highlight, you have this option and then you have the metallic side which honestly the second you put it on it just packs a punch on your face it's so foiled and metallic on your face but it still doesn't emphasize that texture I find the consistency of these to really blend into the skin nothing about this is a natural highlight at all but it really is so stunning I love it the only thing is wear time on this isn't great uh, it does kind of fade down but personally I don't mind that because it is so metallic I think it looks a little bit better as the day wears on so that's the only flaw I think that this one has but honestly the flaw turned out to make it even better for me in my opinion So if you're looking for a really great affordable highlighter I've been enjoying this Melania one a lot moving on to eyes I've been talking about this in a couple of videos But this is the BH Cosmetics summer in Saint Tropez eyeshadow palette and this has impressed me so much It's only $16 and it is a great affordable way to add some color into your collection You guys know I was so shocked by this palette. This has sat in my 
collection for months. I did my affordable eyeshadow collection and I pulled this out and I was like, I've never used this before, but this palette is inspiring me. I look at this palette and I see so many different looks that I want to create. And so not only does the color story impress me, but the quality I'm very impressed with as well. Obviously, this isn't a luxury eyeshadow palette. I have much better eyeshadow formulas in my collection, but for $16, I'm honestly floored. Especially with these colors, this is dangerous territory. You can get some pretty bad quality eyeshadows when brands try to play with these colors, but I think they did a great job with their price point on this. Uh, the shadows feel much more high quality than you pay, and they're pigmented, and the selection in here is really beautiful. They blend nicely. The shimmer shades in here as well. Some are duochrome, some are really shiny and very foiled. I just think everything about this palette I really enjoy from the color story to the quality. I think it's really a steal for $16. So I think it's a good affordable way to add some color into your collection and really experiment. And the colors that they chose in here, I also just feel very inspired to create looks with. I've created looks with the blues and the greens and today I went with the pinks. So there's so many different avenues and looks you can create with this palette. Every time I use this, I'm just so thoroughly impressed with it. And the fact that I've kept going back to this palette this month says a lot because a lot of times I will put my affordable palettes to the side because I just didn't pay as much for them as I did all of my luxury palettes. So the fact that this stands out in my collection really does speak a lot about it. A product that I've also rediscovered this month is the Classic MAC Black Track Fluid Line. Now growing up in high school, college, I've always preferred a gel liner. The past couple of years I've been more into liquid liners just because they are more black. But I've started using my Black Track Fluid Line again and oh my gosh, you have so much more control when you use a gel liner. My wings have truly never looked better just because it's so much easier to use. I use a MAC 210 brush, which is a very, very thin liner brush, and this has just made my liner so much quicker to put on, and when I do want it more black, I'll put this down first, and then I'll put a liquid liner on top of it. So put down your liquid liners and give gel liners a try because I have so much more success when I use gel liners. Last item that I have to share with you is a lip combo. These are both older products that have been in my collection for a while, but I am obsessed with it. So what I'm wearing in this video, it's much more cooler than I would want for the eyes, but I had to show you it. I've been loving these two for any type of cool toned look. And that is the ColourPop Lip Liner in Oh Snap. And this is just like a really cool toned mauve shade, which the ColourPop Lip Liners are so good. They're so creamy and they're so affordable. And then the perfect color to go over top with it, like there's no better duo, is the Bobbi Brown brown crushed liquid lip in hippie shape and these two truly are a match made in heaven i can't stop pairing these two together and as you can see it is gorgeous glossy and this lip combo goes with so many looks especially on the cooler scale because i do love more cooler looks definitely a lip combo of the month that i wanted to share with you guys so that is all i have for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know if you're planning on trying out any of the products that i mentioned this month. I really had a fun time with this because some of these products were newer, but most of these are products that have actually been sitting in my collection and it makes me happy to go back and give them some love. If you aren't subscribed to my channel, I hope you take the time to do so. I am posting content like six days a week trying to keep you guys and myself entertained during this time. I hope you and your families are all staying safe and staying healthy. Continue to take care. Go for walks. Exercise at home. You're not doing much else anyways. I'm a PE teacher. I had to say that. That's all I have for today's video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.